Ooh, isn't that cute? Oh, so stoked. Um, day 16 on the deep dive. So, oh my goodness. Today was all about money, how to earn money and different strategies, and it was great. Um, I wrote down a lot of notes and surprising, like none of this stuff is really new. A lot of the gurus that you can find on Facebook are talking about the exact same thing. But the way that I like it from Steve's perspective is it becomes more about the subjective reality. Like, are we able to um, create some of those things and kind of play with a simulator a little bit? So I really like that part of it. Um, and I realized I had some resistance to some of these things. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper in it and um, I'll write my blog post and I might go a little bit deeper in the blog post for it because it's... It's not something that is fresh and top of mind for me for the video um, because I'm more excited about the face painting. So for face painting, I used to do this uh, for a substantial part of my income. And I worked for a company as well as started my own company. And both are hitting a weird lull. And I, I'm not surprised by my own company doing it. Um, one foot in, one foot out kind of syndrome, as well as, as not being confident to take on some of the bigger jobs with the equipment and the skill set that I had. So I have no problem working for this other chick. Um, it doesn't pay great, so a lot of it is fun and I do enjoy it and I get to get dressed up. So I usually have these little antenna on and my butterfly wings and the whole bit. And I've got this crazy flowing skirt and a couple of different color combinations for costumes that I wear. and do all my crazy makeup and usually I've got um, some face paint, it's an airbrush tattoo thing so there's usually at least one on my cheek, sometimes the other cheek. But today my kit wasn't working and it's interesting because I've used the same kit over and over again for all kinds of events and my compressor just wouldn't turn on. So I'm supposed to be painting at this event for three hours and it's not working at all. And I'm like, hey, how am I contributing to this? Like, am I trying to subconsciously sabotage this girl? And am I trying to do something to ruin her business? And the answer is no. Like, it, it's just kind of like, hey, is this really my shit or is this her shit? And what it felt like was she has one foot in, one foot out for her business. And she's actually looking at alternatives to support herself. And... It's almost like the compressor was like, you know what, then screw you, I'm not gonna work. And that's what it felt like, even though I know this is an inanimate object and it doesn't really tell me things or has feelings, um, that's what it felt like. So I enjoyed the day, I stayed, of course, because I am I agreed to do this and I'm there and it is what it is. So I'm managing the line and chatting with everybody and convincing people to get tattoos that they weren't necessarily going to get, which is the, the most fun, you know, and there's, there's this big muscly guy who's like, you know, got his two little kids or three little kids and he's like, no, 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 I don't really want a tattoo. I'm like, come on, maybe a dragon or maybe a butterfly and, you know, his, his little girls convince him to get something kind of frou-frou and he goes for it and it's just fun. So I love that part of it. Um, I like to have my chance to be an extrovert and then when I'm done, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Get to be an introvert and goof around and, um, but it's, it's time to get back to some quiet time afterwards. Um, so it was really interesting as I'm standing there today kind of doing line control, which we didn't really need to have someone doing line control. It wasn't that busy of an event. I... The old me would have been standing there grumpy and miserable that I was, you know, standing there making, what, 15, 20 bucks an hour and really unnecessarily, you know, just kind of pissed right off. And today it wasn't like that, even though I didn't get to paint, even though, you know, I'm just kind of chatting with everybody and, and it, I'm better at painting than I am with chatting with people um, and I kind of missed doing that today. It was such a different experience and the reality is I wasn't doing it for the money. I was doing it to just have fun and be goofy. And so many people, you know, were commenting on my outfits and, and then my, as soon as I got my tattoo um, done from the actual face painter, so there was airbrush and face paint um, separated, um, people were just really enjoying themselves. And it was cool to sit in the chair while I'm getting my arm painted by another artist and they don't know that I also do the brush and sponge. And so I'm just looking at it from their perspective. You know, I get to be the client instead of the artist. And how cool it was to be on that side of it and just support them. And then as people are commenting and I could really praise and, and 
just gloat about how amazing this artist was and then promote it like go go and get one right it's paid for by the event and and by that corporation that uh, hired all of us to do it so get one like try it it's fun and I love that part of it today so I'm really happy that I could be um, a version of myself that I don't always get to be and it's the perfect venue for it it's a short amount of time it doesn't drain me I am tired physically after doing it and being outside in the hot sun you know for an entire day but it was so goofy so just one other way of making money um, yes I can I can do that and then I can put a price tag on it but sometimes it's fun to just work for the for the sake of working and not that money drives everything so an interesting take on it. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of experimenting with my um, my writing and the blog post, especially around this, in what is it that I want to do to make money and who can I serve best with the skill set that I have and who do I really want to work with and what does that look like and coming up with a couple of different options and then just presenting it to the simulator. like. I want to work with the type of person that does this, this, and this, that says this, this, and this, and who has these kinds of values, and then just kind of go from there. Um, you know, people that are optimistic and encouraging and and wanting to learn, um, that are eager to try something new, and it, that convincing them to take my stuff and convincing them to pay for it. Um, I don't have to. Like, they're kind of already looking for me, and it just, boom, is kind of a, a perfect match. So... I feel it's really weird, but that feels so incredibly aligned that a lot of the marketers would be like, you're going to have to test these products and you're going to have to test these services and to see if there's a market for it. And my spidey sense and the, the intuition part of it is saying, no, I don't. I already know how to do so much of this stuff and I just like sharing it. Today was a perfect example of that. I just, I got to kind of promote everybody else's stuff. It had nothing to do with me and I just got to have fun. And it's amazing, you know, some of these people that would never get, you know, this, this airbrush tattooed or get something like this um, painted on their body, but tried it because I recommended it. So that was really fun. And I want to have more days like this where I get home and yes, I'm tired, but it was such a good day. Like if I died today, I would have no regrets and I would, I'd have no, no unfinished business. Like this would just be a great way to go. And that's the best part is that I don't have any regrets in my life. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow to see what, um, see what we're going to talk about. I have a sneaky feeling that it's going to be more about money. Um, so that's part of why I'm not willing to go too, too deep into it right now. Um, but I will, I promise, um, within today and tomorrow's blog posts, go a little bit more step by step so that it breaks it down for people that that is something that they struggle with and something that they could benefit from. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow.